Hey, Springfield Public Schools families. This is me, Azelle Kavan, joining you from my kitchen. I wanted to provide some updates for you, our SPS Spotlight, while this school closure is in session. First of all, we hope everybody's doing well, staying safe, and staying home if you can. So let's just get right to the updates. So April vacation is going on as scheduled. That means April 21st through 24th will be school vacation as usual. MCAS, everybody was worried and wondering about MCAS. Well, the Massachusetts Commissioner of Education, Jeff Riley, canceled MCAS for the remainder of the school year due to the school closure. So there will be no MCAS testing at all for the rest of the school year. Um, schools are still currently scheduled to be closed until May 4th. Report cards. Report cards will be mailed to families this year. Um, you can expect to see, well, not this year, but this quarter for the third marking quarter. Um, you should expect to get your student's report card in the mail the first week of May. And students will have been graded on their class performance all the way through the third quarter up until March 12th, which was the last day of school before the closure started. Uh, laptops have been distributed. Hopefully all of you had a chance to register and go pick up your laptop if your student didn't have one at home or have it delivered to your house. If your student does not have a laptop at home and you still were not able to register in time, contact your student's school and they should be able to make arrangements for you to pick up a laptop for your student to stay connected to their teachers and have an added resource for um, educational experiences while school is closed. Um, we did hear a lot from people who were having problems with Wi-Fi once they got their laptop home. And so uh, we worked with the Department of Information Technology to create a nice little tutorial to help our families be able to navigate through that. And that's on our social media at Springfield K-12. So if you're having trouble with that, um, take a look at that little video and hopefully it will help you. And we hope to have more information coming about a um, help desk service for students having IT problems um, in the next week or so. We want to send a huge thank you as a district out to all of our essential workers. We want to thank our custodians. Uh, we want to thank everybody who's been making deliveries, who are working in the grocery stores, of course, all of our healthcare workers. And we want to send a big shout out to our own nurses who are taking a big part in helping to um, protect the community during the COVID-19 response by working with the city's Health and Human Services Department. So I think that's it for updates uh, for this week. I'm going to try to report back to you every week with anything that's new and important. In the meantime, you can always go to our social media pages at Springfield K-12 for the latest updates. If you have not been going to get your breakfast, lunch, and dinner at the school closest to you, you should do that. There are 17 locations throughout the district that are serving free breakfast, lunch, dinner, and a snack. So we know it's difficult. Refrigerators might be getting a little bare as we get further and further into this closure. Uh, and parents like me are used to relying on schools to feed their kids um, at least one meal a day. So this has been a great help and uh, you should take advantage of it. So reporting from my kitchen table, this is Azel Kavan, Chief Communications Officer for Springfield Public Schools with your SPS Spotlight School Closure Special.